Okay, so then the next items that I've been looking at, I mean, I've been looking at free NAS, but I don't think that we're able to uh, do the same thing as, as the Drobo, where we've got multiple different uh, size drives. Same with Open Filer. Correct me if I'm wrong, because I'm just doing my research and I'm consulting the community here. Uh, and have looked at uh, ZFS, looking into these different types of, you know, RAID Z, as they call it. And then I think what appeals to me a little more than the Drobo is perhaps even making our own uh, data storage solution. Because we really just need to have redundant hard drives. We need to be able to have them mix and matched, right? Mm -hmm. Jot just mentioning that the Drobo is just uh, is just basically a Linux device, so it can do the, uh, it does the same that you can do. So again, touching on let's build our own kind of thing. How much data does Category Five consume so far? I'd say about 1.5 terabytes. Talibsing says the Drobo Pro has a SATA. Has eSATA? eSATA. SATA. E Who's saying this? No clue what eSATA is. Oh, this is the eight bay unit. I'll never go there. Oh. No. Why is that? Way too expensive. Oh. And you've just got the fi the ability to fail out two drives. Oh. It's a, there's not enough advantage on that unit to, to justify the price hmm. at all. Um, so the next one, as Jot was just saying, is maybe I can do this myself. But, of course, I'm not going to be able to develop the software, but there is an application called Unraid, which is something that I'll put in the show notes. Everything is going to be in the show notes for tonight's episode 96, so you'll be able to link to stuff and, and find out how it works and things like that. Uh, the Unraid server will allow me to buy uh, like a RAID cage for my system, which I can just install into any old PC, just find one in the back and just, uh, and just throw one of these guys in there. It's going to let me now hold... Now, Unraid in its, in its most basic form is free, and it allow, allows you to use three hard drives. I'd like to see a little more than three hard drives, but advantages to Unraid is that, it's, well, it's cheap. You can start with three if you want, and, uh, and it's free. For the, for the software, I've already got the hard drives, it allows me to use multiple different size disks. It's not fast, it's not like, it's not screaming fast, but it lets me have a nice redundant uh, data storage array. That's kind of cool. If I install that five bay unit that I just showed you there, then I might need to upgrade to uh, their more professional version of the software, which is going to cost about, let's say, $120. And then you start getting into, their software will support up to 16, 21 drives, I believe. So these are all things we're tossing around. John Roberts says Drobo uses a proprietary storage driver. That's right. And uh, <laughs> you could make a feature of building your own RAID NAS. Well, that's what, I, that's what we're you know, consulting you on, is should, is, should that be the direction that we take? Mm. Is that something that, uh, you know, if we feel as a community that, uh, that that's the best thing that I should be doing, uh, with regards to our redundant storage here, then I'd be happy to, to put together such a device on the air. Hmm. And I think that's the best way to do it. Hmm. But then again, if the decision is that, you know what, maybe we should stick with a standard RAID, or maybe we should go with a Drobo or something along those lines, hmm. or even just a network attached attach storage with a, with a RAID 5 in it. You know, these kinds of things are all options. So, uh, so if you're interested in this kind of thing, of course, follow along, uh, because you might learn a few things about my decision process and the decision process that the community is going to assist with. But then also, um, if you are at all knowledgeable in this stuff, do a little bit of research and, and just kind of follow along with us and, and know kind of what direction I'm flowing. I've been working on this for about a week, just kind of looking into my options and just thinking, you know, we really need to come up with something. And I thought I would include the community, make it something that, uh, that becomes a resource more so uh, than just me building a RAID array and installing it without you ever knowing. Because this, it will mm. cost money either way. Mm. Drobo, like I say, five, six hundred dollars for the hardware. Mm. Uh, doing it myself is going to mean, uh, now I've got some computer hardware in stock from, from the business before we close down. So I've got computers. I've got some chassis. So I'm good there. But I will need uh, hot swappable uh, bays for the, for the unit, which will probably cost two hundred dollars or so. Well, we all want to watch you do it. Well, yeah. See, yeah, everybody's for everybody's sure. asking for you to do so it on camera. So either way, it's going to cost money. <laughs> so I really want to go with the best solution. Yeah. So give some thought, as as a member of the community, uh, give some thought as to what you think I should do, and drop me an email live at category five tv, or of course you can also follow me on Twitter, twitter dot com slash robbie ferguson, where I'll be updating uh, my status for all my followers. 
so that they can see kind of where I'm flowing and, uh, and can also provide some feedback as well uh, if you have any opinions on what we decide to do. Hmm. Cool. Uh, Jot just mentioning that all SATA is hot swappable. You just need to make Linux aware of it. Yeah. But I, I, what I mean by hot swappable is not the fact that I'm going to spin down the drive and, and dismount it and spin it down and then eject it. I want to actually be able to uh, fail out, uh, like, say, the parity drive and, uh, and run off if, if there's a fire, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. I don't want to have to get my screwdriver out. Yeah. That's kind of what I mean. So the, the cage that I was showing you there with the, uh, with the bays so that I can just grab it and go, mm -hmm. that's kind of what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. Cool, cool. Lots of opinions in the chat room. I welcome you to keep, keep talking about it if you like. And, uh, of course, everything that's been said tonight and everything that's going to be said tonight is featured in our IRC logs. You can click on the IRC button for episode number 96. This is Category 5 Technology TV. I'm your host, Robbie Ferguson. You can introduce yourself. And I'm Christy Burton.